Hey guys, what is going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today this is going to be a little short bonus video for you guys. And it's something that I want to share some light on, which is auto mounting network shares on Ubuntu or on Linux easy way. So let's get started. Now, one of the problems I usually have with Linux is the auto mounting feature. Now, Particularly on desktops is not a huge problem because you're not lugging this thing around or moving it around. But anytime when you're on a laptop itself and you're not within the range of your own home network, you really can't use FS tab or certain utilities that will forcefully mount a network share. You guys might know what I'm talking about, maybe not, but here is a way that I found to auto mount a network share easily. So let's jump into it. Now, here I have my desktop. And again, this is more particular for laptops. So if you're using a desktop, you could just do the mount feature and you should be all set. But on a laptop itself, this is what I highly recommend. Now, there's a software called Gigolo. Yes, Gigolo. And in here, this software actually allows you to mount anything from uh, network shares on your network or FS, FTPs, SSHFS, tons of stuff. So if I was to create a new thing and add basically uh, create a bookmark that's what you would do you have all these options uh, ssh ftp web dev window share custom locations if you got but the main feature that i'm looking at is this auto connect so you could see if i eject my network location give it a few seconds it will auto connect again that's what it does it's basically doing what windows does and just constantly looks for the share and it will actually connect it if it needs to it works very well on my laptop because if i'm not home it doesn't like stress saying something's wrong or it couldn't mount something and if i am home it automatically mount all my network shares so i'm just going to leave this window on the bottom left open and you're going to see it pop up from time to time because it's auto mounting but oh there you go it just did it i think it's like a every 30 second mark or something like that but in here, you could add all your bookmark settings. So if I was to do uh, Windows Share, I could change the color to what I want. I'll just select it as black right now. I could set it to auto connect and Windows Share here. The server, you would put your IP address and the share is where you want. Actually, I leave that empty. In the folder, I leave empty and then domain, I leave empty and add. Oh, the share name I do need. Uh, I think it's called data store. That's what I named it because there's the share name, which is the server and the share name, which would be data store, whatever you name your share to be. You add that anonymous. I think I spelled it wrong. Oh, you know what? I have the wrong IP. I think it's 85. Connect. And there you go. I didn't have the wrong IP and it is supposed to be lowercase. Here we have uh, auto mounting. And basically, if I was to eject any of these, give it a second and it should auto mount back. Maybe the public would auto mount. That one is definitely in there. The other one, I just said it, it should automatically do it as well. And come on, give me a few seconds. And there we have it. Both of them reconnected itself after I think 30 seconds. I didn't really count, but it felt like 30 seconds. Now to get the app, all you have to do is just go into terminal and let me zoom in a little bit here and you do sudo app install gigolo hit enter and like i said because i have it installed already it's not going to do anything but that's how you would install it that is it it's that simple i actually really like using this utility for my linux uh, now i just install it on everything because it's so much easier what's best is i have vpn connected to my house so when my laptop goes onto the vpn it'll automatically connect my share as well that's just something i wanted to show you guys anyway that is it for me uh, if you guys have any questions about this little utility let me know down in the comments below if you guys have any other utilities that you use on your linux operating system religiously let me know down in the comments because I also want to know what that is as well. Anyway, if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Also hit that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say, my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.